Hello Cancer, welcome to your tarot reading. My name is Isabel. Today we're going to be discussing what you can expect in love for the month of May 2018. So if you're new to my channel and you haven't already subscribed, you can click the subscribe button and if you would like a personal tarot card reading, you can get one at the tarotempress.com. So let's begin your tarot card reading. We have the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Swords tarot card in the position of your energy and attitude towards an individual in the month of May. You are feeling very stressed, you're having anxiety, you are feeling like, you know, you can't sleep at night, you could be having nightmares, something could be keeping you up awake. You may have realized something about this individual, so you may have seen the truth of the situation because we have the Ace of Swords tarot card here. You may have had an epiphany, you may have had a breakthrough, you may have realized some aspect of their character that has caused you to have a lot of stress, doubts and fears. The person that you're dealing with is definitely feeling a pressure. They're definitely feeling stressed out and burdened by the situation. I feel like they're trying to reach out to you. They're trying to message you. They're trying to make things right again. But I feel like almost as if the damage has been done. Now, you're seeing this individual as someone that is controlling, someone that is in charge, someone that could be dominating, but they could be also in a position in which they have a fiery temper. The Tower Tarot card is here as well. That's telling me you may have seen the breakdown of their character or their personality, or they may have done something that caused it to fight and it caused this individual to snap towards you. In terms of how they are basically seeing you, we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Queen of Swords. They're seeing you as defensive. They're seeing you as someone that is resistant to their advances. They're seeing you as straightforward and someone who is not putting up with their nonsense. I feel like you are being very straightforward, being very independent, and you're not allowing them to, you know, take advantage of you. In the past, I feel like you did a lot of healing, you'd had a lot of harmony in your life, you were coming to terms about things, you were accepting the past for what it was, you were learning about the mistakes you made, the mistakes that someone had made, and you were starting to forgive this individual or a few individuals in your life, so you were making peace with it. Now, in terms of the present moment, I feel like you're dealing with someone that you were seeing a potential for a relationship with, but something has occurred. You may have found out that they cheated on you, they betrayed you, or they did something really unruly and took you by surprise. They may have been going behind your back. They may have been very manipulative, you know, so you got wind of this. It might be a message. It might be something that you learned or discovered about this person for some reason or another. You discovered something about this individual and it's going to be occurring within, you know, this week or it may have occurred last week. In terms of the future, we do have a situation here with you where you're going to have, a, you know, to make a choice. And more than just a choice, the Lover's Tarot card talks about the fact that, you know, you could be dealing with the soulmate here, but they could be very, you know, flighty. They could be in and out of relationships. They could be unwilling to offer commitment. They could break your heart very easily. So you're dealing with someone that you feel an intense love and bond for, but they're not very steady or stable. Now, in terms of the outcome, I do see you holding on to the situation and persevering, and I do see that you're going to have some arguments, conflicts, and difficulties with this individual. We have the five of wands here as well. So, despite all of these difficulties that you're going through with this person, some of you are going to emerge from the situation holding on to it very tightly and not willing to let go of the immediate relationship or the security of a relationship. So I hope that you enjoyed your tarot card reading. If you would like a personal tarot card reading, you can get one at thetarotempress.com. Remember to subscribe and to like this video. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.